So tell me, what exactly is the big deal with essential oils at the moment? Because everywhere I go, I see them. I'm in the chemist, yeah. the supermarket, department stores, the cheap shop. They're everywhere. What's going on? All right. Well, take a whiff of this and tell me what you think it is. Okay, that's got to be lavender. Yeah, and when most people think of essential oils, they think of lavender. And that's because it's been used for so many things. Basically, it's in perfumes, it's in body products, it's in powders, and it's even been used to scent our drawers. My Nana's drawers. Yeah. <laughs> Not those drawers. But, but it's for so many different things. We now know that essential oils are really powerful when it comes to changing our mood, helping with our emotions, and even our overall well-being. So where exactly do we get these essential oils from? So pure essential oils are purely from the plant. There's nothing else added to the bottle. So what they do is they get things like lavender flowers or peppermint leaves or bark or something from an aromatic plant and they cook it up in a steam distiller. The steam rises, it cools down through a condenser, the water and the oil separate, they scoop the oil off the top of it, pop it in a bottle, test it, seal it, and ship it to you. And that's pure lavender oil. Yeah, pure oh. essential oil. And there are other ways that we get essential oils. One of them is what we call cold pressed, and that is things like the citrus oils. Okay, so so you know when you break a bit of orange rind and it sprays out, that's orange essential oil. Yep. Okay. And then we have what we call absolutes, which are your jasmine, your neroli, where they use a chemical solvent to extract the essential oil because they're when they steam distill it, there isn't enough of the essential oil comes out of the flower to make it cost effective. So instead they use a chemical solvent. Okay, and there's one more way. And that is tapping straight from the tree. And that's where we oh. have what we call a copal. And an example of one of those is something like copaiba. Okay, so let's talk about lavender because that is like the Swiss army knife of essential oils really, isn't it? Yeah. So in order to get a 15 ml bottle of lavender oil, we need 2.5 square meters of lavender oh, wow. flowers. It's a wow. lot goes yeah. into a pure bottle, like bottle of pure essential oil. Okay. And what can we use lavender for apart from scenting our drawers? So I consider it the Swiss army knife of all oils. I have it in my home. It's in my bathroom cabinets. There's some in my kitchen. Uh, we pop it in the diffuser. Well, Jeremy pops it in the diffuser. For the girls. <laughs> yes, yep. for the girls. Before they go to bed to help them calm down. I put it in with my washing. I add it to my mascara. I add it to my shampoo. It's great for skin. So I add it to all of my uh, skin routine. Okay, great. So... Tomorrow or next session, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about how to use essential oils and what's our featured oil? Peppermint tomorrow. Yay, love peppermint. We'll see you guys next time.